slow pitch fishing for striped bass is something I get asked about a lot. And I think one of the reasons I get asked about a lot is a lot of people don't understand the difference between butterfly jigging, speed jigging, vertical jigging in general, and what slow pitch jigging is all about. Uh, to sum it up in a nutshell, you know, the most effective way to catch a fish is to convince it that it's got a, a target of opportunity, especially for using artificials. Slow pitch jigging is all about the fall. All slow pitch jigs have their best action coming down in the water column. They're designed to catch an edge and just flutter down like a wounded bait fish. Almost every time you slow pitch jig over any kind of body of feeding fish like we have here today, you're gonna to be able to hook up. So today I'm using a 200 gram jig that's rated for this Talavera type J rod, which is also rated for 200 grams. And it's gonna be all about a couple of different lift techniques to get bit. So I'm gonna pitch this guy out, find bottom. And I can employ a couple of different techniques, but all of which are gonna be aimed at the idea of lifting the jig up erratically and letting it fall and flutter. So a lift in place is one technique, and it's all about creating a slack in the line so that this jig flutters back on the way down. Another technique to do this is simply a turn of the handle if you have a high enough gear ratio. So there's a lift or there's a turn of a handle. There's a, ha well, there he is, right there. So the action on the rod is specifically designed to impart action on the lure. It's not designed for fighting the fish. All of the fight when you're using slow pitch tackle is done with the reel. So let the fish take line. You're just keeping a slight load on the rod. When your fish gets to the end of that run, now I'm gonna take line. And it's all about getting an intimate connection with that fish that you can establish with slow pitch gear so you can feel when that fish's head is turned. You know when you can take line and you know when you need to back off and let them run. I will make little fine tune adjustments to the drag while I'm fighting to adjust for that. But it's a lot easier on the body than traditional gear. This fish is trying really hard to get down to the rocks. I've got a very light leader system on here to get bit. The water's very clear. So I'm just doing my best to keep pressure on them. In addition to my drag, I'm just being real touchy with the thumb on the spools that have a little more minute adjustments because we're fishing shallower water over a lot of heavy structure here. So I don't have the luxury of letting this fish make long screaming drag runs. Slow pitch jigging works for striped bass. Oh. It's a nice fish, solid on a 200 gram wing fall. That fish hit on the full reel technique. So I was doing sharp turns of the handle, making the jig come up high, falling down on the flutter. It looks like a wounded bait fish and these larger predators, especially the bigger, heavier stripers looking for the easy meal, they're a shoe in to catch using the slow pitch technique.